Hi Merlings, welcome back. Uh, this is a little tutorial video of how I put my uh, flukes together with the mono fin. Um, and it's, uh, it's a bit complicated, my process. So I haven't glued anything down yet. Uh, what I do is I basically make a big sandwich within a sandwich. So first I sandwich, um, this is like a fake kind of neoprene. It's not real neoprene. It's like a one millimeter thick swim fabric. It's stretchy and it's nice and thick uh, polyester. And this is basically sandwiching the blade of the monofin because this monofin is um, quite thin and sharp. I don't trust it not to cut through the uh, the tail eventually after like a lot of use. So the fabric's there to protect it. Um, and what we're gonna do is uh, gonna be gluing like the back of it to the bottom piece first. These are spacers that I just made. I needed some really long ones for this tail because the mono the, the fluke is so big. Um, I've in the past I've used just one of these before, but uh, they're just little pop they're not popsicle sticks. What do you call these? They're just wide wooden sticks that I wrapped in saran wrap. And they're going to bl make a blank area with that doesn't have any silicone glue in it for water channels. So after it's all glued together, there will be water channels so that water can flow out right here on the fluke, here, here, and here. So water will go in the tail and come out down here. Um, and that is how I do my water channels there. So I'm going to take all these out. I was just uh, fiddling with their placement and seeing how long they needed to be. But I don't need them right now. Alright, so I'm going to remove this piece. clean the back of this piece here. So you can see this is glued. It's fabric glued on here. And the glue that I use, I'm using um, I'm using like a uh, epoxy that's rated for plastics and fiberglass. It's basically an epoxy resin glue. Um, I trust epoxy not to come apart and come off more than I trust any other glue in the water. Uh, I've put um, ceramic mugs that I've repaired with epoxy through the dishwasher like hundreds of times and that glue just, it still won't come off. So this is the glue that I'm using for my monofin and fabric sandwiches. I'm just going to put this over here, don't need it right now. Alright, so now I'm going to clean this area with some naphtha. Um, naphtha is a uh, solvent that opens up the pores of silicone. Even though this is only three days old, it should still bond really well to fresh silicone. I'm going to use it anyways because I've had problems with silicone bonding together in the past. This fabric has been added here to the inside of both sides of the fluke because I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to work some creative magic to get all of my scales to line up. And I think I'm gonna have to individually glue some down when it comes to adding the, the scales to the tail. But I'll talk more about that later. Anyway, I'm gonna get this cleaned up here. I gotta put my gas mask on. So I use naphtha to prime silicone before gluing it. Uh, Smoothon says that naphtha will open up the pores of your silicone so that it'll bond with fresh stuff better. Uh, so far it works pretty well. Um, I haven't any uh, mermaids come back and tell me their tail's falling apart, so it must be working. <laughs> uh, I, you know, the funny thing is I've, I've called Smoothon several times to mostly talk about the number one problem that I think a lot of tail makers have and that is um, silicone not bonding to itself. 
Uh, but this time I felt I talked to um, a working professional who actually knew what he was talking to and he gave me some really good advice. Uh, I have had um, completely opposite advice given to me before. Uh, so I like to use um, bottles of alcohol and cans of chemicals to basically hold the flute down. Uh, that spot's dry now. So you have to wait like, uh, what? Uh, I must have been using the fast silicone. So what I'm doing here is I'm mixing up part A and part B of uh, Dragon Skin Fast and using that to bond the fluke together. I have used just Silpoxy before and if you know how expensive that is, um, you'll be cringing right now like for the whole fluke. But I found that Silpoxy, Silpoxy needs oxygen to cure and when it's like sandwiched between two pieces of silicone, it's not getting any air and it's not curing, like I've had entire flukes come peel apart while I was working on them because the silpoxy never actually cured. So um, dragon skin, if you just mix up dragon skin, um, it doesn't need air to cure, it will cure without um, access to airflow. So that's probably the best thing to use. Oh, pin cushion mode activated. Sometimes I put a little bit of Thyvex, which is a little chemical, you just put like one or three drops into your, uh, your silicone that you're using to glue, and it's a thickener. It prevents the silicone from oozing and dripping. It'll become more like a pudding and less like a honey consistency. Um, I didn't do that with this one, so you can see I'm going around the edges and cleaning up the stuff that's oozing out. And then uh, before this cures, uh, it'll slowly ooze out too. Already on the other side. Oh, that's cool. I was looking at this video and I was like, 15 minutes? What am I going to talk about for 15 minutes? Is that even sped up or am I actually that slow? Now, this is speed up. It's sped up eight times, which is what I sped up the rest. <laughs> this is like a really slow day for me then. So this is probably the uh, second day of filming because I have to wait for this glue to dry for almost about, I wait about an hour and a half. Um, but usually while it's drying, I'll like get bored and I'll, I'll walk away and then I'll forget what I was working on. I'll be working on something else. Uh, but I was probably casting the scales for this tail at the same time. So on the other fluke I was working on where I was uh, using bottles to um, hold down part of it, I didn't realize that all four of those bottles I had already opened and gotten into and all of them dripped a little bit of alcohol onto the area I was gluing and alcohol will inhibit the cure of silicone. Um, and then I discovered that I had actually mixed two of the same parts together. Um, not on this flute, but on a different one I was gluing together. Sorry, Naomi. Um, and I realized that uh, I had to clean all the goo out because it didn't actually cure at all because I mixed the same parts together. Um, but I, I already cleaned it out and fixed it up and re-glued it. That was hilarious. I am so lucky I didn't make that mistake on a much bigger project. Otherwise, I would have had a huge mess and a huge redo to complete. So this is sped up eight times. This is how slow I am going on this part. I just so uh, I guess I just wanted to do a good job of uh, spreading it around. You got to be careful though, because I'm mixing. This is Dragon Skin Fast. It only has. Um, an eight minute pot life, so you need to get it basically onto your project within eight minutes after you mix it up. Gotta be really careful. These tea pins are 
Uh, I ordered them on Amazon and I really like using them. I was using like sewing pins before and what would happen is I couldn't, I was ruining my nails getting the sewing pins out. Like the little, um, oh, sorry my head's in the way. <laughs> Uh, the lens is right there. <clears throat> Anyways. I can grab these tea pins with pliers and just pull them out with pliers and then I save my fingernails from the, uh, the torture of having to dig them out. So this part is really tedious. Um, what I'm going to do after all of this is uh, glued together is you can see where the registration of like the end of the mold doesn't quite line up perfectly on some of the uh, some of the fin areas. So what I do is because um, it's really hard to like edit and clip the veins, I just make sure the veins are lined up as best as I can get them. And then I'll go in with a knife and I will uh, knife and scissors and I will cut the uh, that excess that's peeking out under that little area there. And I'm cleaning up the glue. So the. Uh, after this is all dried, um, you'll see a clip of it all together and after it's been clipped um, and made to look pretty and even. Uh, what I do then is um, I mix up a really thick batch of silicone, so I add a lot of 5x to it to make it like a pudding consistency that doesn't drip, and then I gently use my finger and I fill in any gaps that um, are still there, basically to try to make it look like one seamless piece and not like it was obviously two pieces sandwiched over a monofin. And that, um, I'm not going to film that part, it, it just takes so long and it takes a lot of, uh, a lot of patience and I'd have to have the camera really close and constantly turning it on and off again as I'm like applying the silicone, but basically it's like applying, uh, it'll be like applying a filler to all the cracks. Like if you've ever filled in cracks in a wall, you just kind of use your finger to gently fill in the, the cracks along the seams. So right up there, right where I'm pinning right now, um, I'm going to be adding extra scales up there. Just some little, uh, pretty dainty little scales that are, go, that are going to go down that vein to cover up the, uh, the seam there as well. I'm weighing it down with all the bottles. Ta -da. Okay, so here she is, all glued together, no pins left inside. You can see on the edge of the tips, you see how they, they look doubled right now. I'm going to go in with glue and just patch that up, make that look nice and seamless. Yeah, but this fluke is all glued together. I have, uh, I left the, um, <laughs> I left those in it by accident, but they can come out now. Oh, she's done. Woo. Do, do, 